DDR5 is the latest in RAM technology, but how different is it from DDR4? If you're looking to upgrade your computer or build a new one from scratch, you've probably heard of DDR5 RAM. DDR5 RAM technology promises faster performance and larger RAM capacities while reducing power consumption. But what exactly does it improve upon from DDR4? And is it worth spending money on upgrading your system? Well, let's compare DDR4 and DDR5 RAM. The biggest headline feature that manufacturers promote for their DDR5 RAM products is its speed. The fastest DDR4 you can buy now only offers 5,000 megahertz, while DDR5's minimum speed is 4,800 megahertz. For example, some of the best DDR5 RAM already boasts speeds of 6,000 megahertz, which is still below the standard's theoretical limit of 8400 MHz. As the technology is continuously developed, you can expect this limit to increase, as in the case of previous DDR generations. But aside from these speeds, what else does DDR5 offer over DDR4? Let's take a look at the memory capacities of both the DDR5 and DDR4 RAM sticks. The largest DDR4 RAM available is 64 GB, but this is a rare, expensive, and specialized piece of equipment. Most consumer RAM sticks have a maximum capacity of 32 gigabytes, and most gaming motherboards have a maximum capacity of 64 gigabytes. While you can get larger RAM capacities by going for motherboards with eight RAM slots or more, these are typically server or commercial grade motherboards and require specialized RAM sticks. But with DDR5, the smallest RAM modules usually start at 16 gigabytes, with 32 gigabytes options readily available. This option will double most consumer motherboards with four RAM slots to 128 gigabytes of total RAM. Eventually, we're expecting DDR5 RAM to go as high as 64 to 128 gigabytes per stick, thus bringing RAM capacities up to 512 gigabytes for four slot boards and 1 TB for 8 slot boards. Nevertheless, not all motherboards support those large capacities, even if they're DDR5 compatible. Before upgrading to larger RAM, you must first check your computer's maximum RAM capacity. Now that you are aware of memory capacities, let's look at voltage requirements. Looking at the latest GPUs, you'll notice that each new GPU generation gets bigger and consumes more power. You might expect DDR5 RAM to behave similarly, growing physically larger and consuming more power than previous generation DDR4, but this couldn't be further from the truth. DDR5 standards require a 1.1 volt IO voltage, which is 0.1 volts lower than DDR4's 1.2 volt requirement. This might seem like a minute decrease, but the fact that DDR5 is almost doubling the performance of most DDR4 RAM sticks while simultaneously decreasing its power requirement is astounding. DDR5 also moves voltage regulation on board instead of keeping it on the motherboard. This will potentially simplify motherboard design while allowing manufacturers greater control over component quality. While this will increase the RAM module's operating temperature, the cooling solutions for most high-end RAM sticks should be enough to keep them cool. Apart from voltage and memory capacities, we should also look at ECC functionality. The term ECC, which is present on ECC RAM, stands for Error Correction Code. This unique RAM functionality makes sure that no corrupted data is stored in your RAM and sent to your CPU. This is primarily useful for data centers and large commercial operations that work with crucial data and require specialized processors and motherboards that support it. However, each DDR5 RAM stick now has an integrated ECC chip due to the higher capacities of DDR5 RAM. This will improve stability by preventing data corruption while it is being temporarily stored in the RAM. Although it won't verify the data being transferred between the RAM and CPU, the ECC chip in DDR5 RAM only ensures data integrity within the RAM. So, what are some of the issues you are likely to face when upgrading to DDR5 RAM? Now that you've seen the advantages of DDR5 RAM, it's tempting to go out and upgrade your PC for faster and bigger RAM. However, it's not as simple as removing your old DDR4 RAM and replacing it with a DDR5 stick. 
The main issue to be aware of is that DDR5 RAM sticks are not physically compatible with DDR4 slots. This is due to differences in voltage requirements and other critical modules. Because of this, you can't just swap out DDR4 for DDR5 RAM. Instead, you'll have to buy a new motherboard that specifically supports DDR5 RAM. You also have to consider your current processor. If you're rocking an 11th gen Intel Core processor, an AM4 AMD CPU, or anything older than those, you're likely stuck with DDR4 RAM. If you want faster and larger RAM, you'll have to ensure that you buy an Intel LGA1700 or AMD AM5 compatible motherboard. The AM5 socket for AMD processors introduced in 2022 only supports DDR5 RAM, requiring DDR5 RAM if you upgrade to a Ryzen 7000 series CPU. However, this is not the case for Intel's 12th and 13th generation CPUs. This is since the LGA1700 socket used by Intel's processor is compatible with both DDR4 and DDR5 RAM. You have to ensure that the motherboard you're getting for them is compatible with the RAM you're buying. If you go with the less expensive DDR4, you'll get relatively good performance at a reasonable price. However, newer software and games will benefit from the faster speeds and larger capacities of DDR5 RAM. Because of that, you'll want to upgrade to DDR5 later, but that means you'll have to get both DDR5 RAM and a motherboard that supports it, thus making upgrades more expensive in the future than just buying RAM. So, should you upgrade to DDR5 today? If you're getting a new PC today and have the budget for DDR5 RAM and a compatible motherboard, then you should go for it. But if you're already stretching your wallet to get the latest CPU and GPU, you can settle for DDR4 at the moment, unless you're planning to get an AM5 socket and AMD CPU. In this case, you have to get DDR5 RAM. That's because you can expect prices for DDR5 RAM and DDR5 compatible motherboards to fall further as the technology matures. But it's not worth it if you're planning to spend a boatload of cash just to get faster and larger RAM. If you already have a DDR5 compatible CPU with DDR4 RAM, you're already getting increased performance and the gains you will get from this update are only marginal. As we conclude, all I can say is that DDR5 RAM offers increased speed and capacity, and it simply makes sense for developers and programmers to consider this when creating software. Soon, you'll notice that games and other apps will take advantage of this, raising the required minimum RAM in the future. If you're upgrading your computer today, including DDR5 in your plan makes sense, but if you want more RAM but don't need it right now, why not hold off on your upgrade plans? You can expect prices for DDR5 RAM and compatible motherboards to fall, especially as manufacturers get into mass producing these latest bits of kit. That marks the end of this video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. While you are at it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel with all bell notifications turned on for more videos like this one. That said, I'll see you at the next one.